Alrighty, hey guys, this is Garrison over at Massey Toyota. And here in front of me, I have a 2011 Mazda CX-7. This particular model is going to be your sport eye trim level. It is in the copper red mica exterior with a gray cloth interior. Coming around back, as you can see those clear lens tail lights, single outlet exhaust for your 2.5 inline four. As you can see, you do have alloy wheels, um, Bluetooth phone in the inside. You do have auxiliary input as well. So go ahead and step inside. Of course, you do have keyless entry, switchblade Mazda key as well. We'll go ahead and start it up. This particular model does have 72,924 miles. We'll check out under the hood. Underneath your hood, you do have a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam inline four cylinder. 161 horsepower, 161 pound feet of torque as well. You are connected to a five speed automatic and the front wheels in this model. So we'll, let's go ahead and check out the interior. Coming on the inside, as I said, you do have that gray cloth interior. It's a very soft fabric too. Of course, you'd have six way manual adjustments for your driver's seat. Your door panel does have very nice material, some soft touch upper door panels, padding um, right here, and then some stitched leather and padding on your armrest. Power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. Over here to the left, you do have your track control off. Um, looking at your steering wheel, it is a three-spoke leather-wrapped wheel. You do have your Bluetooth audio controls, cruise controls on the wheel, as well as controls for that nice little center display up there. Over here to the left, you do have your headlights, and over here to the right, you do have your variable intermittent speed wipers. So coming to your radio, your radio display is up there on that little orange display. You do have AM, FM, Cirrus compatibility, CD, and auxiliary. You do have single zone manual climate controls in this model, temperature, fan speeds, and zones. Recirc, defrost, and AC. Nice storage cubby right here, 12 volt outlet. Here's your controller for your 5 speed automatic. You do have manual shiftability as well. Some nice cup holders right here, nice padded armrest. Pressing the metallic button will open it up. And underneath this little tray right here, you'd have a 12 volt outlet in there as well as your aux port. Coming to your glove box, it is damped, of course, and you do have all your owner's manuals in there. Up top, Manually dimming rear view mirror, nice mirror and vanity light on your sun visor, and of course over here to the right you do have nice map lights. So let's go ahead and check out your rear seat. Alright, so stepping into the rear seat, of course more of that grey cloth interior. It is in very good shape back here as well. Coming to your door panels, your soft touch materials do follow through up top as well as your padding and your leather stitching and padding right here. Of course you do have a nice bottle holder down below and there's your power window control. You do have two seat back pockets back here as well as a nice little armrest to my right. You do have two cup holders and some nice um, padding for your elbows. Of course, um, your passenger and your rear seat passengers do have cornering handles above the windows. And you do have a nice dome light up top right there. So we'll go ahead and check out your cargo area, your, your wheels, and we'll um, conclude the video. Coming around back, of course we can open up your tailgate. There's some floor mats right there, some easy release mechanisms to fold down those um, second row of seats. Of course, coming underneath your cargo floor, you do have your spare tire and jack. And we'll go ahead and check out your wheels. You are riding on Iron Man tires. These are 17 inch alloy wheels. They are five lug and you do have rear disc brakes as well. So that'll be it for this 2011 Mazda CX-7. If you're interested in this vehicle or any other model out here at Massey Toyota, feel free to contact them. All the information is in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.